Hello, and this is Graham Lincoln with you today. Today I'm going to review a mod that I'm thinking in using on my series. This mod that has been already installed, it's Mistcraft. Mistcraft was made by XCompWiz. He has a website, binarymade.com. And um, today I'm going to review it. Um, it had a lot of fun stuff. Actually, it's an amazing mod. Um, the, the only thing I don't know how I will use it is in my story. How I'll use the mod in my story. But that is something I need to think about. But let's let's load the world and see what we got here. So, okay, I got this thing. Let me uh, set it down. So, what is Mistcraft? Well, luckily, XCOMP Wiz gave me a book. Actually, he didn't give me, but let's, let's pretend he gave me a book. So, what is an age in Mistcraft? In Mistcraft, an age is a new dimension, and players can explore similar to the overworld, neither or end. Unlike those missions, hedges have a wide range of possibilities. Players can find themselves themselves in Skyland or in an endless ocean with giant trees sprouting from the water, or a desert desert where it snows. Pretty awesome, actually. So this this mod uh, creates new dimensions. Actually, it creates a lot of them. Uh, you can create as much as you, you can imagine. You can create custom ages made by yourself if you have pages. I will tell you what is a page and whatever, but let's find out more. How to travel to these ages? Well, to travel to a new age, player may link. It's the thing, the term we are going to use, the link, uh, teleport, whatever. To it by using a descriptive book. To get back again to the main world, and this is kind of very important, to get back again to the main overworld, players have to get in their inventory a linking book created in the main world. This is kind of very important. What happens when you get in the age is players will spawn in a platform and and uh, you have to look at these ages. They are not all, not all of them are uh, stable. Some, will, some, some will be unstable, and I will show you. So there will be uh, some ages that will be unstable, and they will have side effects, like you negative effects, like you like hunger, or blindness, nausea, whatever, so on. So, um, so yeah, this is what. Uh, Mistcraft adds to the to the, the Minecraft. So let's see um, what this is. Um, the items, the blocks, the Mistcraft adds. Uh, you got the book binder, writing desk, uh, link modifier, uh, book stand, lectern, crystals. Uh, you got a linking book, your notebook, a notebook that. Just uh, that has all the pages from the game, but uh, you can get this from the creative mode uh, and a descriptive book. So we are going now to see um, how to create uh, every kind of this. Okay, so let's go. So we start with the basic. The basic is uh, you need paper, and to get paper you need sugar canes. So sugar canes that. Uh, or this one, uh, you can create with three sugar canes, you create three papers, you need papers for begin with. Cows, from cows you need leather, leather. So if you kill a cow, you will get leather. And well, you get also beef, and if you have a bucket, you can get milk. From chickens, chickens you need feathers. So if you kill uh, chickens, you you get uh, 
stuff. Yeah. Mm. Here we have squids. 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 Squid. You, if you kill them or if they die, you get an insect. You need them to mm. make uh, the ink veil, veil. But we, I will tell you whatever. A tree. Yes, a tree. You, you need trees and you plank. You, you actually you need plank and a stick. Two planks make four sticks. So that's really it. Sand, yes, you need also sand. Sand, well, if you melt in a furnace, you get glass. With a glass, you get a glass of a glass of bottle. So, is if you right-click with a glass of bottle in water, you will get a water bottle. So, this is basically the main resources you need. So, you need sugar cane, you need cows to get leather, you need chickens to get feathers, you need um, squids to get uh, ink, uh, a sack of ink, need trees, and uh, you need sand, basically. So, how to make a book binder? A book binder, you need uh, three iron ingots um, and five uh, planks, wood planks, okay? That will make you a book binder. To make a writing desk, and a writing desk is this one, okay? they will, if you right click here to, to, to put a, a writing desk, it will occupy two blocks, okay? So you need, again, five wood planks, but a glass, of, uh, a glass bottle and a feather that will create your writing desk. The link modifier, after the version um, 0 0.10, um, there is no way of getting a link modifier. Uh, you will you, before that you needed a lot of diamond, uh, but there is no way now to get this one unless you give it yourself. Which I will do it if I ever put it this in my and my world. But well, and then you get the book stand. The book stand does two sticks and a plank. Make it. So, how to make an ink veil? Ink veil, you need a water bottle in two ink sacks. That will make the ink veil. The ink veil will be needed to the writing desk. I will show you how. Lectern. Lectern um, will be available in uh, a, a new structure that can occur. It's called um, libraries. And there will be pages. This is how you collect pages. Pages are needed to create custom. Uh, ages, okay? So, this is how you create uh, a lectern, actually you create two, and then crystal. Crystals uh, will be uh, generated in the, the overworld, if you're not mistaken, and so you can mine it. If you mine it, you can make this and make a book receptacle. We will talk about crystals and whatever uh, in the end. Now, the other items we'll be using or uh, a book. So, to create a book, you need three papers. Actually, I forgot to do it. Three papers and uh, a leather will make you a linking book. The linking book, let me tell you already, the linking book will save your coordinates. So, if I create now a linking book, it will uh, save the coordinates I am, where I am, the age where I am, and the way the, 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 the where I'm facing. So this book has three stuff. Coordinates, the way I'm uh, looking at, and um, the age I, I am in. So this particularly uh, leaking book, it, it belongs to the overworld, okay? And this is how you create those custom. So now let's play a little bit and uh, with it and um, make uh, funny stuff. So let's go to this house, this amazing house. Here I have um here I have my stuff. Now if I right click this is the interface okay of the the book binder. This is the interface of the writing desk and if you give ourselves the the link modifier this is up okay now I'm going to give myself uh, first a linking book stand. 
me I'm going to blow this okay so I'm gonna put here this one okay now to begin with we need to make two things okay we are going to make an H and a linking a linking book okay to make a, a new H is quite simple as using the book binder put a letter blank page a blank paper here that will create a page okay and it's a blank one and it has nothing and that will create a book a descriptive book so in, in this book you don't you didn't customize anything it will be a random book maybe it will have uh, mostly it will have instability okay so we have our book h3 okay uh, you can not here, but if you have the writing desk, you can put it here and name it. Okay. Let's call it first H to travel. Okay, first H, and we have our book. So let's go upstairs. I'm going to now put here um, this. Okay, now we need a linking book to get back again to this world. Never forget about that, okay? I'm just going to give myself, it's just with a simple book, you can create uh, you can create a linking book, okay? So, this linking book, okay, has the coordinates. This one's where I'm facing and this overworld, okay? So, if I right click on here, it will stay here. Ah, uh, I want this, okay, sorry. You can right shift right click to pick up the book, okay? So the linking book will be here. Well, let's play here our first book. The book stand it's well if if I right click it and click left click on this blank, I will travel and the book will stay behind. If you have a link modifier, you can change that, that those options. You can uh, actually make the book travel with you or Actually gives you permissions to if you are in that age to right click in, in also in that thing in the, in the book, which is what I'm going to do. So I'm going here and show you how to use this overworld. Okay, in overall, let me let me say I can't I can't okay easy, but if I came here and press interleave. Okay, there's this arm that. Takes out all of your items when you travel. You have generate water form. Um, it comes already with a descriptive book. You have falling. It means it goes with you, and you have uh, maintain momentum, which I think I don't know. So if I put it here, I can click, and I travel here. See, nice, right? Yes, it's nice. So let's create a new one. Okay, don't get it. And let's put the book here. And let's travel for the first eight. You can't see what you is using, so just let's go. In hope it's not that very unstable eight. So it's raining, as you can see. And uh, this is this is a lot unstable. Um, let me change this to recite mode. I have hunger. Level 3. Uh, I am in a void. I could be. Uh, and, uh, okay, let me put it here. here. This is, those are valves. Uh, I guess. Let me see. So now it's not. I don't know what this that is, but we spawn in a void world, and it's a, a very uh, lag world. It's not lag, but uh, unstable. Okay, I got hunger, level three or whatever it is. So, well, let's go back to our overall. And here we are, back again to our overall. Well, 
Um, you can come here again and uh, and give myself again to the items. So if you put the paper here and a uh, letter there, you give yourself a new book. Let's try this new book, okay? And once again, we need to uh, put it here. This will be H4 if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, but let's create a new one. Um, okay. And let's go. How will be this world? And. Well, okay. We spawn here. Uh, and this seems to be a cave. Okay? So this is taking a while to to load, but this is um, a cave world with light ups. Okay, let me just uh, put it here. Didn't spawn, uh, but I can see. You can see it is uh, a world. It has a, a few biomes, I guess, and it's not stable, as you can see. I got fatigue level three, uh, so some here, here when because because it's random, something is not quite right. Um, okay, this is where I put it. But so let me check one thing. And you get here uh, on top. You it's a, like a flat world, and you have got um, trees and whatever. Yes. It makes biomes. So well, now we are going to try to make um, to make a uh, petty gate. And this was that was a, a, a very unstable. Well, in stable, in stable worlds, the world will decay after a while. It will promptly disappear, so you don't want that. So, let's now uh, give ourselves... Um, if, let me check um, the code. So, if you... I think I can use it. Uh, miss create uh, file. What is the I want a book. Okay, wait. Wait. This page book five. Okay. And it gave me a book. Okay, let's create uh, a linking book. With us now. This time, I'm going to show you um, the book will follow follow me. So we have got interlink, generate platform, follow. Okay, I want this book to follow us. Okay, and this book. So H here I came here I go and let's see. So basically, the that um that command will create a uh, a stable world, okay? Uh, let me get between myself some light, okay? As you can see, I don't have side effects and I am in a skyland, okay? I'm in a region of skyland, you can see. In, in the, it spawns a jungle, yeah, it's a jungle. Um, it has uh, chips, monsters. Um, let me check one thing. I want to be on set to dawn. Okay, so 
this world, uh, I guess it doesn't have a uh, sun. It's almost like night. Um, it's a dark night, actually. Uh, like we said, between noon, and uh, you can see that. Well, that's how it goes. Let me set to midnight, and um, it says the same. Okay. I, I don't know if this um, generates, well, at least it generates R, as you can see. Um, we are at 21, so maybe, maybe it will have a. I don't know if. If it uh, had the uh... anyway, so this is a stable wall, okay? And it's a skyline. You are lucky. You are lucky. Now let's use our clicking bug. I right click it and here. Ah, I have it in my hand again. If I didn't, that would leave it. Now, let's create, um, let's create, what, let's create, uh, let's create a world, let's create, okay, let's create ourselves a world, and uh, for that, I will need, um, I will need this one, because it has all the pages, uh, and I also need uh, some of this, okay? So, if I click here, you 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 get full, okay? You need this, you need also this, papers, and you can put here. You have as many as, uh, as you want here, you can put 25, I guess, if I count. 25. Okay. So, this notebook has all the pages. Okay? There is a lot of pages. If you add, uh, like, extra biomes or other mods that have uh, modifications to terrain or uh, biomes, it will have it. Okay? Okay. So, to write a stable, stable world, uh, you need um, a few pages, okay? And I'm going to give myself um, a notebook. A notebook here will be useful um, for what? To put it here, okay? So, we need um, we need to write a stable world, uh, we need to say how we want the, the terrain to be. Uh, it can be flat, it can be a cave, it can be a standard terrain, but we have to tell it how we want the, the world to be. Okay? So, uh, I want a standard terrain to begin with. So, I want this one. Okay? If we put it here, or not now. This is a for naming kind of Okay? Or, you can copy the if I put it here and I click it there, it copies the same one, okay? So let me put this one here. And okay, so we need a standard terrain. We need to I'm going to tell what what biome we we want. Can be native biome or single biome or a huge biome or others. Native biome doesn't need you to tell how uh, what biome do you need, but since I want um, let's cr let's create um, a huge okay let's create a huge biome something okay it's very um, huge huge biome. So, you need at least three types, at least three, okay? Uh, let's see, I want a, a beach biome, I don't know, a beach biome, okay? Uh, 
maybe uh, a forest biome and um, a river. No? And um, a river biome. Now this one allowed anyway. Okay, so this will be our build. Then you have to well say normal sun, uh, the moon, the stars. You have to actually say it, and we each of them will have um, settings also. And on the moon, we put this right here, right? For sun and for moon, you need to three. And what you need to tell? You need to tell, um, well, for the sun, you need to tell it will be rising, okay? And uh, I want to try to make a, a stable one, okay? So, I want to say, you, you, you can put like, like saying the, the sun and the, the moon going opposite ways, okay? Will be awesome, but that will have instability. We don't want it that. So, I want a, a rising. Both of them uh, will be uh, going east, okay? As, uh, as normal. So, I need to copy east here and east here. Full length means they will go overall the world, okay? So you need to say they will be full length. And for the, the moon, you need uh, to tell um, you need to tell up to you, you also need full uh, full length to stars and uh, east for for uh, for the stars. And uh, and the other one for the, the moon is setting. Means when one is rising, the other is setting. Okay, simple. Yeah. So there it is. Now you need to tell how you want the lighting to be. You can create a world where is more there is more light, there is less light, there is a standard light. Okay. But you have to tell it. Otherwise, otherwise you won't um, light. Um, let me. See. Normal lightning. Like normal. Normal lightning. Okay. Then let's create a. Uh, internal something the internal snow okay there will be always snowing normally people will uh, will put a climb modifier climb modifier is for the end okay then well we can uh, say I want a, a red sky so a red sky Sky, that sky color, there will be here somewhere. Uh, sky color, okay. And this is what I want my world to be. Now, I, I just go and edit like this. Okay. Just have it. Okay. In here you have your notes. Now it's important to check if uh see then the terrain Beach beyond, forest beyond, huge beyond, rising is full length, normal sun. 
you have to check if everything is like this way before creating. Now, at your bookbinder, I need a page, a second, uh, paper, I mean. No. Put a paper. Actually, I don't need a paper. I just need a letter. If you right click with the book here, it will have all the pages here and there, and it creates. Okay? So, let me name this H. Custom H. And let's hope we created a stable one. It creates a general proposal form, uh, interlink, I don't want it, maintain Mon momentum. Now, let's go. Let's not forget to create a, uh, one of these. Now, there is our custom world, custom mate. And let's go and see how it is. See? Red sky. Red sky. Snowing. And uh, I guess it's stable. It's a stable world. It has uh, um, snowing. It's snowing. I didn't said I wanted. Um... Oh look! See, this is a desert. A desert. Uh, with <laughs> snowing. It will be always snowing here. It's internal snow. Um, and look here. See. This is how you collect the pages. Uh, forest biome, sky color. Okay? This is how you collect. You make. Uh, and here is the river. A river biome. So, here is your biome. Now, look when I just start uh, off. Let me, let's go here. Let's go to Overworld. Let's create again a linking book. Let's go travel again for there. Just to make uh, sure uh, we don't. Um, okay, close for here. I don't have the book. I just uh, made this book just so. Uh, um, and uh, if you see. The book is there. And the books take damage. See? I can destroy the book. They are also... See? The book was destroyed. So, that's back. And this is how the books work. Now, I'm going to get this one. I'm going to get this one. And this one. Okay, let's go outside. Let's turn around. Right. And uh, let's create here. Did this remind you of something? Does this remind you of something? Yes, it does. Yes, it does. No. The link? It doesn't make anything, right? Now, look at this. Look at this. There. With the crystal and this little guy, you can take the book, you can put it, you can take it, you can put it, you can take it, you can put it. You can create portal. And now I need my book. I need to find the book. Shit. Um, or you could make your portal also for there. And actually, with this, um, damn it. With this portal, entities can travel on, which is a, uh, a, good, a good thing, right? Right. 
I hope the book isn't isn't destroyed, uh, or we will be doomed in trapped here forever. Okay, this thing means the world is not that stable. Okay, sometimes when this starts to happen, it will be the world all over again. So let's pick up the book and let's travel again. And this is everything about the mod. You have a, a lot of um, a lot of stuff going on. Creative, let me just show you. You got um, a lot of options. You can put strongholds. You can uh, make a skyline. You can make um, this one biome. You can make no seas, no weather. You can uh, make hell biome. You can, uh, I don't know, uh, make tendrils uh, of diamond horrors. You can make more, uh, more, I don't know, more uh, cave, cave world. There is a lot of uh, to it, which is kind of awesome. This mod. Uh, see, so here is the kind of stuff. I need to pick up with uh, okay. 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 and this is this is it the mod. Okay, I hope you enjoy it, and uh, see you next time. This was Graham Lincoln. Subscribe, follow, comment, whatever. Thank you.